Hey, I'm Liv, and I like to do super fast, colorful eye makeup looks for work. And in this new series, I'm making one eye makeup look with each of my Juvia's Place palettes. Today we did this look in 10 minutes-ish with my Juvia's Place Mini Magic palette. I love this thing so much. I would probably say that this is my favorite palette so far. I haven't actually tried two of my new palettes, so we'll see if this one gets knocked out of the running. And we're also going to see if we can find a dupe for that beautiful green on the bottom row. I don't think I did it, but stick around and see how it went. Okay, so today we're working with the Magic Mini Palette. This is actually my favorite Juvia's Place palette. Granted, I don't have that many, but I feel like there's such an insane variety of depth of color, of different kinds of colors, warms and cools, and of different formulas. I just, I love this. Like, I feel like I could probably take this traveling and if I practiced with it, I would have a ton of looks, but sometimes it can be a bit intimidating. So we're gonna try something. Um, and I just looked at this now and came up with this, so I'm debating, but I think I'm gonna do this sort of all over the transition area, this in sort of a cat eye shape. Um, let me say the names. Nana in the transition area, Yejide in sort of a cat eye shape and then blended and under the eye and super smoky. And then Aja in the outer corner, outer V, and then Buzo on the lid and then Faso as a very heavy inner corner highlight is what I was thinking. Um, mostly because then will be navies, greens, and purples, which is just a beautiful mesh of colors, and then a brown for a sort of a, a contrast in the transition area. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it in 10 minutes. We're gonna start now, because I think I'm all primed and prepped. I think I have everything I need. And then later on, we're gonna do just a little test to see if I found a dupe for a boozo. Okay, it's time to start. <sighs> I always get nervous. Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes, starting now. <gasps> Let's go. All right, I'm gonna try to say the shade names even though I can't see. So we're gonna go in with Nana. Oh, my primer creased. I have some soft ochre MAC paint pot on already. All right, so Nana everywhere. That's heavier than I was intending. <laughs> Basically, here's the deal. It is winter in Colorado and it has been freezing cold and we went to gym this morning and I'm used to going to gym and coming back and feeling freezing and wanting to get toasty. So I like had the hottest bath ever and turned the heat up to as high as I could handle it. And I'm now boiling. It is almost 60 degrees in Colorado. I don't know what happened but I'm melting, so I'm like, I feel a little disoriented and like I gotta power through this because this office is upstairs and it's very toasty. My eyes are unevenly hooded, so I'm still trying to learn how to do them the same even though they're different. I'm sure you have the same thing regardless of whether your eyes are hooded or not. I'm sure one of your eyes is a little different to the other because I think most people aren't perfectly symmetrical for the most part, which is just fine and beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with Yejide. And I'm actually gonna take this little semi-pencil brush and sort of try and get the shape of what I'm thinking. Sort of the top of my hood, right about there. And this can be helpful to look straight at the mirror while you're doing it so you can actually see what's going to show up around the hood. Okay, nice and rough. Oh, let's go under the eye too while we're here. <sighs> Touch the wrong shadow. Bring that shape down. I love this navy. It's so beautiful blended out and packed on and it can go extremely dark and then blend out into really the ideal sort of greeny yellowy navy, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, it does to me. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take a fluffier brush and just a teensy bit of that navy and blend out the edges. I'm trying to keep it right on that line that I made so I don't get too muddy. And I kind of want to pack some more in there too, now that I have my shape. Awesome. 
And I'll start this side by packing in with the same brush so I can get rid of some of the material. So I'm not going to work today, it's a weekend. This is already more than I would wear to work because of how elongated this cat eye is. It's totally what I wear out though. So if I was wearing this to work, I would take some concealer and just shoop, get rid of that so that we had just that little edge there. Do you know what I mean? So if you go too overboard, you can just get rid of it and then go to work. <laughs> all right, all right. Now I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm going to grab some of that Aja color. And pack that on the outside here to around about the middle. I'm gonna clean my brush. This is kind of a more common formula of a shimmer. This Aja, it's more powdery and dusty, more like other shimmers, but Bujo is more like the Juvia's Place shimmer that you used to that creamy, oh, kind of thing. So that's what we're going on with now. It's a totally different formula to Aja. I think, I'm pretty sure it's intentional, like Aja's more of a shimmer and Bujo is more of a foil. Bujo? Bujo. Bujo. Hmm, and that navy went really far up there, which makes me want to take a little bit of this up there too. Make that angle a little more pronounced. Interesting. We still have a little bit of that orange shade showing, which is nice. I didn't want to lose that. And actually now looking at this, I want to put a little bit of Buzo under the eye. I'm just using the edge of that same flat brush. Oh yes. And I'm gonna clean off my little brush and get as much of Faso as I can. It's just one of my favorite shades, but I'm still not entirely sure how to use it. It's so unique. Oh, I hope this looks good. Kind of bruised. <laughs> That's okay. We'll fix it with concealer. All right, maybe I'll just do a little bit on that side and see how that looks. Nah, it's still, it's a very blue tone sort of purple. Oh, got myself in the eye. Actually, less is better. Less is more with that. All right, let's take a little concealer and fix this. Let's get that a little there. All right, we'll call that good. Fix the smooshing that you can see there. And should we just fix this angle as well? Might as well. You could fix that a lot more for work if you wanted, but since the weekend, I'll still keep it a little, a little dramatic. A little bit of liner under my eyes. This pencil is kind of messed up, but we'll give it a shot. Hey Google, stop the timer. Pretty close. All right, so we got under eye liner that I'm doing right now. Try not to stab myself with this pencil that needs sharpening. That would definitely be better if the pencil was sharp. <laughs> but I am going to leave it like it is and do a little liquid liner quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay, a little mascara and we should be good to go. That's the look done. I don't think I have any lipstick. I'm gonna scrounge around for a second and see if I can find something, in which case I need my glasses on. But let's see, can't see anything. I know I said that Faso color was amazing, but Buzo, Buzo is the best color I think I have out of anything. The best formula, the best eyeshadow, it's just, it's phenomenal. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mini that I've been trying out. Once again, feels nice, smells nice, but no different to pretty much any other lipstick that I've tried. So, uh, uh, whatever. So that's the look done. What do you think? Do you like this? Let me know down below what you think of this look. I would love to hear. I love this kind of combination. And I was looking at the Melt Amore palette, I think it is, and it has these really preppy primary colors, you know, like the primary navies, the, the really primary red, and, and this emerald green and this navy make me think of that. And I'm kind of hoping that that's 
a trend that continues in 2020. These kind of very preppy, deep, rich colors filled with pigment. That would be awesome. Okay, and now the thing that I was hoping would be a dupe for Buzo. It's not an oppressed eyeshadow, which would be amazing. It is Stila, their Vivid Jade, I, I don't know what these are, the liquid cream eyeshadow things. I have not opened this. I got it from Costco on a super sale and it looks like a beautiful emerald green. Let's try right, can you see that right over there? I'm gonna do one swatch and then one swatch sort of smushed out. I don't know. It's quite a dark color. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's like a duochrome. In the lighting, because I unfortunately can't see my elbow that well. <laughs> so in the camera, it looks, that looks pretty awesome. Okay, let's test Buzo next to it. Definitely not the same color, I don't think. All right. One solid swipe, no. Man, that was way too helpful. And then one sort of blended out swipe. Oh, God, that's just the best color ever. All right, let's see if I can get a good swatch for you guys. That looks pretty good. I mean, this Stila shade is beautiful. Uh, it's their Vivid Jade. Like I said, it was $9 at Costco which is a pretty good deal. I remember spending much more when I discovered the Diamond and Glow. And this is what my finger looks like after having swatched that. I, I like both the swatches. What even, it's it's just the most beautiful shade. If I have to pick a favorite Juvia's Place shadow, period, hands down, that is it. Yeah, haven't found another one as amazing as that. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here, cool down a little bit. Ooh, it is toasty. This is not a bad way to experience winter though. To take my glasses off again so you can actually see the look. I can't see anything, but I really do love this. It's a combination I really adore. By the way, the exact same technique with that gold instead of Buzo is beautiful too. Ugh. Love this palette. Anyways, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Do stick around and subscribe while you're here and let me know your thoughts about this look, about this palette or any other Juvia's Place stuff that you've tried down below. If you wanna check out some other videos that I've done with other Juvia's Place palettes, then stick around after this. Let me know your thoughts down below. And thanks for hanging out.